His Excellency, the Most Reverend Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kulitrai, Reverend Father Correspondent, Reverend Father Financial Administrator, Distinguished Chief Guest, Reverend Father Correspondents and Principals of our sister institutions, Reverend Father Farmer Correspondent, Father Jismarian, Reverend Father Farmer Financial Administrator, Father Dominic, Dr. Ennis Kumar, Farmer Associate Director of DRDO, Thiru Velmail Murugan, Reverend Sisters, Guests, Deans, Heads of the Departments, Faculty Members, Staff Members, Proud Parents and My Dear Graduates, Good morning and warm greetings to you all. St. Xavier's Catholic College of Engineering is persisting in its pursuit of excellence through innovative programs, modernized curriculum with enhanced practical applications, research endeavors and student-centric approach. Our institution remains dedicated to delivering exceptional technical education fostering innovation and promoting research. With the blessings of St. Saviour, I am honored to present the 22nd Graduation Day report, which highlights our institution's commitment to educational excellence and so causes the recent accomplishment of our institution, staff and students, continuing our legacy of success. Our institution is recognized as a research institute by Anna University, marking a significant advancement in our academic and research endeavors. Out of 450 self-financing engineering colleges, only 23 colleges got this recognition from Anna University. NBA accreditation validity is extended to another three years for three UG programs, CSE, Civil and IT, based on the inspection visit of the experts team. 60 additional seats were sanctioned by AACTE and Anna University in BE Computer Science and BTEC Artificial Intelligence. Our institution is sanctioned with three years continuous approval by AACTE. Our institution is one among the 29 engineering colleges of Anna University which got affiliation this year without inspection based on our overall performance. Reverend Father Godwin Selva Justice and Reverend Father Sevi Raj have taken up their responsibilities as the correspondent and the financial administrator respectively on 11th June. We have received a special award under prospects category from NPTEL for the high registration exceeding more than 500 for doing online courses by our students and faculty. Two new computer laboratories with 70 latest configuration systems each were establishment in the departments of AA and MCA. Our institution is one among the 100 colleges participated in National Sustainability Impact Institutions Ranking and we come under the category Performer. Our institution is awarded with the Center of Excellence for Design powered by Autodesk by the ICT Academy. Institute Innovation Council of our college is awarded with the three-star rating out of four based on the activities conducted on innovation and entrepreneurship. In our central library, we have 30,000 volumes of books and subscribed with online journals IEEE and Elsevier. Our college is a venue for conducting online and offline competitive and entrance examinations. Our college is acting as the sports coordinating center for the 10th time for Anna University Zone 19 for conducting various games and sports events. Our institution has taken a significant step forward by signing nine memorandum of understanding recently with the renowned companies and organizations such as CIA, Young Indians, UVA, Spokic, Scopic Edutech, TVS, Veranda Learning Solutions, Soft Squares Collisions, Z2 Land, Muller Foundation, Indian Overseas Bank and Gandhi Gram Rural University fostering partnerships that will drive innovation and excellence. Rupees 73 lakhs 46,000 was sanctioned last year towards 
the DASI scholarship and Sincevious Merit Scholarship. We have conducted the Sincevious Merit Scholarship examination on 27 March for this academic year and about 469 plus 2 completed students attended the same. TechFest 2024 was conducted in a grand manner on 14th March. Dr. Pillai, former Chief Scientist, CSIR, NWAST, Thiruvananthapuram, was the Chief Guest. Sports Day 2024 was conducted on 15th March. Mr. Sivarajan, International Volleyball Player, Southern Railway, was the Chief Guest. The 26th College Day was celebrated on 12th April and the event was graced by Mr. Vetri Vendan, Vice President, Soft Square Solutions. The Silver Jubilee Grand Finale was celebrated on 20th April the Most Reverend Dr. Albert Anasdas Bishop, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kulitrai and our Chairman, presided over the celebrations and Honorable Dr. Velraj, Vice Chancellor, Anna University, Chennai was the Chief Guest. The 21st Graduation Day was held on 4th November 2023. Dr. Asir Bakiraj, Distinguished Scientist and Director of ISRO Mahindragiri was the Chief Guest. The Kumari Fest, Aimbarum Villa, held from January 11th to 13th was a resound success. As part of this celebration, a science exhibition was also successfully organized and providing them with engaging and educational experience. Dr. Saji, Dean of Systems, is appointed as an assessor for the NAC peer visit team. The utility patents of Dr. Mary Geisa and Dr. John Bosco were granted. Dr. Seldiv Christopher received a research grant of 1.62 lakh from Villa College, Maldives. A testament to his exceptional research endeavors. Dr. Suja Alex is recognized as a research supervisor by Anna University. Dr. Andrews, the coordinator of IQC, is honored with uh, the Discipline Star Award in recognition of her remarkable commitment in continuous learning. About 88 faculty members are PhD holders out of 164, and 59 faculty members are doing PhD. Dr. Shibarani, Dr. Sarvin, and Dr. Arul King have completed PhD recently. Mr. Abraham Sion Singh received an appreciation award for his remarkable contribution to IGEN. Our NCC officer, Major Dr. Edwin Gladson, was awarded with uh, an appreciation certificate for his excellent performance in all spheres of NCC. Two Atal FDPs got sanctioned by ACTE with uh, the financial assistance of Rs. 2.5 lakh each. A sum of Rs. 61,000 is sanctioned by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology in collaboration with IIT Rurki for conducting a one-week FDP on exploratory data analysis and visualization. Mrs. Annie Portia is awarded with the mentor certificate from NPTEL. About 100 research articles were published by our faculty this year in index journals like SEA, SEAE and Scopus. Twelve faculty members received a light award and four received a silver award in the NPTEL exams conducted during March 2024. Dr. Janela Teresa and Mrs. Asa Lais secured the Toppers Award. Dr. Anita and Mervin Raja of third year Tripoli achieved the Toppers Award and 35 both students and staff received the Silver Award conducted on April 2024. Three MBA students received a Golden Award. Our students of 2023 batch backed 37 ranks. 43 companies conducted the placement drives. About 273 students received 433 offers. Our students are placed with the highest salary of Rs. 9.0 lakh per annum and average salary of 3.1 lakh per annum. Two of our students' projects from Final Civil and Final Tripoli were adjudged as the best projects in the national level by the ISTE. Award will be given during the annual meet of ISTE by the first week of September. Rufina of final year CSE won the runner-up at the national level hackathon organized by IIT Madras in association with the AA ordinate. Six of our students were qualified in the gate examination. Rufina of CSE qualified in two subjects. In the event Hack the Metaverse organized by the IEEE of IIIT Bangalore, two teams of our students received consolation prizes of 
10,000 each. Our EC students won prizes in the technical symposium organized by Amrita College of Engineering. Our students from second year IT received a cash prize of 10,000 for the women hackathon organized by Tancom at Mahindra College of Engineering, Namakal. Around 1,000 of our students registered in the IIT Bombay Spoken Tutorial and completed the courses successfully. Our students from the Department of Civil backed prizes in the Technical Symposium organized by Amrita College of Engineering. Our students of AI won the second prize with a cash award of rupees 7,000 in the Science Expo organized by Bedani Navajivan Institutions, Vingood. Three of our students from the Department of AI received the Innovation Star Award with a cash award of rupees 10,000 in the project organ competition organized by Veltech University, Chennai. Two of our three third year EC students won the first and second prizes in Tech Chat competition organized by the Department of EC of Punjasli College of Engineering. Harish of third year IT attended the Global Inventors Meet held at Chennai as the campus ambassador of our institution. Our students won the first prize in group song at the cultural fest conducted by Nesamani Memorial Christian College, Marthandam. Our students backed up the first prize in the solo dance and the second prize in photography competition conducted by Tiaraja School of Management, Madurai. Our fine arts team won the overall championship in the competitions conducted by Kumari Kalai Kalagam. Our students backed prizes in the intercollegiate competition organized by Malankara Catholic College. Our students won prizes in Mari Frame Cultural Fest organized by Mari Frame College of Engineering. Our students backed up prizes in poetry, quiz and group discussion competitions in the cultural fest conducted by the Rotary Club Rota Utsav 2024 at Nagargoil. In Anna University Zone 19 Zonal Tournaments, our students back gold medal in women's chess tournament, silver medal in women's ball badminton, boys table tennis, basketball, boys badminton and high jump, bronze medal in football tournament and javelin throw. I would like to express our heartfelt appreciation and sincere gratitude to our chairman, His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Albert Anas Das, Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kulithurai, a remarkable personality, respected for his extraordinary compassion and tireless efforts to make a positive impact. His Excellency is an inspiring individual acclaimed for his exceptional generosity and steadfast commitment to the greater good. We are blessed to have your spiritual leadership and guidance. Your Excellency and we express our heartful thanks to you. I am deeply grateful to Mr. Jai B. Varkish, an outstanding scientist and side director of Kodungulam Nuclear Power Project, who constantly inspires students to set ambitious goals, work smart, and uh, prioritize effective time management to attain success. I am honored to extend my heartfelt and sincere gratitude to the management council members for their unwavering support and well wishes, which we deeply appreciate. I also wish to thank our dedicated faculty, staff, alumni, parents, and students, and other stakeholders for their tireless efforts and commitment to the institution's uh, overall progress and prosperity. The tassel is worth the hassle. The tassel is worth the hassle. Congratulations to all the graduates and wish you all the very best for your bright and prosperous future in your chosen careers. Thank you.